What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So look, y'all, is there a such thing as being too humble? Is there a such thing as being too humble in life? And yes, I believe there is a such thing as being too humble. In life, we've always been taught that, you know, of course, the meek shall inherit the earth. Um, basically, in so many ways, if you are a humble individual, that good will come to you and that others will probably will more than likely recognize as humbleness and you will be re rewarded for it. Right. However, I've come to see much too often that. You can be so humble that you end up downplaying yourself so much that others don't recognize the value in you, right? Growing up, I was always what many people considered a humble individual, right? Even to this day, a lot of people say that I am, right? I was real humble to the point that I would downplay myself when people would big up me or uh, compliment me on certain things. I would downplay it, downplay it, downplay it, downplay it so much that other people either started to take me for granted or they overlooked me or they just simply, like I said before, they didn't see value in me because I didn't do what we all call popping my shit every now and then to let people know what time it is, right? And of course, there is always a fine line. I don't like arrogance. I don't like extremely cocky behavior or none of that, right? But there's a such thing as being confident. Sometimes... You can be so humble that you can appear as lacking confidence, lacking belief in yourself. And so if you don't believe in yourself, other people don't either, right? So it's always important to always, you know, you never be cocky or arrogant, but you hold yourself in high esteem, right? When people give you a compliment, say, thank you, I appreciate it. But don't downplay yourself like you're minuscule, like you really nobody. Because other people will, that will translate to other people that, damn, that person really ain't what I think they are. Sometimes people don't read it as, oh, you're just being humble. Some people be looking like, if you continue to downplay yourself so much, they'll think, well, I mean, maybe they're not really that person who I think they are, right? And that comes across in everything, whether it's business deals, whether it's friendships, whether it's relationships, whether it's the workplace. A lot of times being too humble will have you pretty much ignored or people will take you for granted. And that's nothing that none of us want, right? I remember, and like, for real, I would be, or sometimes you can be so humble that people will think they can disrespect you. And that's where it crosses the line with me. Growing up in Chicago, Illinois, right? Y'all know the stuff that go on in the city. Y'all heard a lot of the things that go on. Um, I was like Kendrick Lamar, right? I was a good kid in a mad city, right? I never smoke drank only thing i liked was pretty girls right i like pretty girls like sports um i like nice little clothes and i like chilling with my home my, my boys and playing a game or something playing a video game every now and then kicking it that's all i like to do right but because you know i grew up in certain areas i grew up in some wild places wild hoods i went to school with some dudes that was in the streets or whatever because my outer shell was always humble it was always some moments that people thought they could test me or, or play with me in a manner that I don't like to be played with, right? And oftentimes it came from me just simply always, I think, downplaying myself a lot to the point other people thought that they could disrespect me because they thought I didn't value myself. So I ended up having to defend myself, basically let people know this ain't that. And then that's where the, the cutoff point began and where people know they have boundaries with you. Sometimes if you're too like humble to a fault is such there's such thing as being humble to a fault people will not establish boundaries with you and think they can cross all lines with you because they feel like you're so humble you're not going to do nothing to them no matter what they do to you you're not going to do anything and i never wanted to come across that meek i never wanted to come across where you think that you can do me any type of way and it's going to be all fine and dandy because i'm a humble person and that's where the things backfire for me and um you know, I, I found myself in certain situations I, I really hated to be in or I really didn't or I really was pissed that I was in. Right. And I really had to just stand on my own, stand on my toes and say, "Nah, this ain't that. I ain't going for that. And I had to check people. Right. In a city where. Conversation is inevitable here. Right. But sometimes, you know what I mean? Um, you could be having to check somebody 
and you know this person, like you probably ain't got the ups in this situation, but you can't be disrespected, right? You know what I mean? But I, I felt like sometimes my humbleness and the way I try to downplay myself sometimes at moments led to me allowing people to think they could play with me in certain manners, right? Also, when it came to work, right? I remember being a kid fresh out of school and I felt like the route to take to get money was to be humble. To get the check you ultimately want, I felt like I thought that you had to just be humble and say, oh, you know, that's, I don't really need, you know, just say a low number when they ask you how much you want. And I thought that the that corporate America would say, oh, no, young man, you're worth much more than that. We can give you this much. We can give you way more than that. They won't say that in corporate America, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of you all, you all may know that, but some of you all may be a little younger than me and have no idea about corporate America. Corporate America is going to pay you what you say you should be making, what you feel you deserve, right? There, there is hardly any time. There's been some instances, but there's hardly any time where the, co where the employer is going to say, hey, shoot for a little higher. We can give you more money. No, they're going to pay you what you say. So if you come in there being humble about it and you come in there downplaying yourself, they're going to give you what you said you wanted or what you what you said you deserved. And they're not going to think less. They're going to they're not going to think nothing about it. They're not going to have a hard time sleeping at night or nothing. They ain't going to bat an eye giving you lowballing you because you gave them a lowball offer. That's why it's always important to know your worth and speak on that. Don't be too humble to where you downplay your value to, uh, to an organization, to a company. Right. Don't be so humble to where you you allow um your friends, your friends, quote unquote, to think they can take advantage of you or family to think they can take advantage of you because you're such a humble person. Those things happen in life. So you don't be arrogant. You don't be cocky. You don't be abrasive, but you be assertive in yourself. You be confident in your abilities. You stand firm in, in what you do well. You stand firm in your value. You stay firm in what you can bring to an organization, to a friendship, to a relationship, so on and so forth. What good qualities you have, you stand firm in that, right? Because when a person sees confidence like that, they ultimately will have to respect it and they'll be like, damn, I can't disrespect that person in, in any way. I can't lowball them. I can't do them any way I want to do them. I can't talk to them crazy. I can't um, um, take them for granted. I can't um, belittle them in any type of way. I can't disrespect that person because that person ultimately respects themselves so much they will not allow it. So yes, there is a such thing as being too humble and you got to know when you're being too humble in certain situations, right? Because it happens. I've had friends who were so humble in relationships, right? The woman, they dating, asked them, hey, you know, you any girls talk to you today? And I had homies that girls would talk to them all the time. And they would say, no, girl, no girls talk to me or nothing today. And you would think like, damn, you know, no, no, just no, uh, no funny stuff or whatever. But like, you would think like, man, my homie, he a nice looking dude, right? He a nice looking dude. Girls like him. And the woman, you, I'm looking like the woman, like you really believe in a woman talking to him. I wouldn't say that to them, but you know, but the, my homies would be like, nah, ain't no girls talk to me or whatever. And in those instances, the girl, the woman, and I would say a girl, cause she really ain't a woman. The girl would think, oh, ain't nobody talking to him. So maybe he ain't the dude I'm supposed to be really looking for. It's some women that think like that. Oh, ain't no women talking to him. Ain't nobody trying to talk to him. Well, maybe he ain't nothing. Maybe he ain't all that. Maybe, you know, I got the best of him when I had him. And maybe he really ain't, not, ain't all that. And the woman starts taking the man for granted. She starts acting as if like being with him is just being with any old regular dude. Ain't nothing too important. Ain't nothing too special about this individual. Because she thinks that in this world, he's not a valued man. He's not sought after. And so she think, oh, he ain't really nothing important. I ain't saying when I say this, y'all, I'm not saying that a man should go around flaunting how many girls tried to talk to him or oh, this girl tried to talk to me today. Them girls love me. Nothing like that. But in certain instances, if a woman asks you, did women try to talk to you? You can say, yeah, a few of them have. And you can say you denied them. You know, no, I never talked to them, whatever. Right. But some guys say no out of fear of insecurities. For they want due to the, due to that woman having insecurities, but sometimes I, I hate to say it like this. Sometimes some people operate in relationships better 
when they know they got to be on their P's and Q's, they got to be on your toe, on their toes or keep them on their, they got to be on their toes because they know, hey, man, it's people that probably want to talk to that brother. So you got to be on your game. You got to be on your square. You can't fall off. You can't, you know, because I'll say this. A woman is going to tell you, even she can love you to death and she ain't going to talk to no men. She's not going to cheat on you. She's not going to do none of that. But a woman going to tell you when a guy tried to talk to her. She going to say, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that guy, that guy tried to talk to me. I told him, no, I'm, 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 I'm with somebody. I told him I'm in a relationship. She'll say that. But she'll say, yeah, that guy tried to talk to me. That one tried to talk to me. That one tried to give me some, take me out to lunch or whatever. But I, sh I turn them all down and I shoot it down every single time. They'll, if you ask them, they'll tell you. They ain't going to lie. Some men I know will lie because they think that's the way to keep the peace. But in times, I felt that sometimes when you lie and say a women ain't trying to talk to you, some women actually believe that. Some girls, girls, actually I say girls, not women because the child, the, the mindset is childish. Um, some girls will believe that and say, oh, well, ain't no women, women trying to talk to him. So I, he must not, he must not be that good. He must not be that special. He must not be that guy. Right. And they leave you sitting in the dust and they just go ahead and oh, he ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. And start treating you like you any old Joe on the street when she on she don't really know she got that man in her household. Right. That boy, she got that. She got that man. She got that man in her household and she don't know it because that man is um basically downplaying himself so much that she don't see no value in him. Because, hey, man, you know, you, you oh, you're saying girls, I want to talk to you. You're saying, um. You know, you really don't have these type of skills. You're really not that good in this. When I compliment you, you're saying you're not really, it's really no big deal. You're saying you're not really that good. So she starts to think, man, maybe you really aren't nothing spectacular to you. Because some women don't really have the, some people don't really, some women don't have the, um, the wherewithal to understand you're just trying to keep them in a position to where they're not insecure. Some people, will, some women will actually believe that what you're saying is actually true. No, no women are trying to talk to you. You're really not that special of a person in certain areas. You know what I mean? They don't understand that you're trying to be humble, so you don't want you, so you don't drive them over the ledge with insecurities, right? So you always, uh, I've seen this quote, right? They said, "Plain too humble will have you overlooked, underpaid, underbooked. Talk your shit, own the room, and let them haters be uncomfortable." Right. It is what it is, man. Um, like I said, people like will ignore you or take you for granted if you downplay yourself so much to where people think you just ain't you just a re you really are a regular, regular, everyday Joe. And you don't want that in life. So yes, there is a fine, there is a thing as being too humble, but you cannot be arrogant, you cannot be cocky, you just be assertive and confident in yourself, but never never a, a, a abrasive. Machiavelli Mills TV. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.